What's happening, my curious bunch of health fanatics? Welcome back to the channel. A quick message to the Google moderators, this video is not an advertisement for anything. We are just sharing the latest health science news. So let's get back into it. We all know how important it is to stay active and healthy, but for many of you working long hours, handling the kids' homework, school lunches, school pickups, mixed in with work commitments, etc., finding time to exercise can be near on impossible. But a new study published July 18th, 2023, in the journal JAMA, which stands for Journal of American Medical Association, has revealed that it doesn't matter if you exercise throughout the week or if you get your exercise just done on weekends. Both exercise types have similar benefits when it comes to reducing the risk of heart attack, heart failure, atrial fibrillation, and stroke. The paper refers to the people that train on weekends only as weekend warriors. The data for the study was sourced from the UK Biobank, a large biomedical database and research resource that monitors the well-being and health of its participants over a long duration period. And the results of this research were quite remarkable. So with that said, should you just wait till the weekend to train? Well, no, not really. Not if you have time as regular exercise will ensure benefits as such as fat burning, stronger muscles, better VO2 max. But if you find that training during the week is just too hard with work and a young family, then weekends still deliver great benefits. Limitations of this research was that the group was, was mostly white. So we don't know how this may affect people from different ethnic backgrounds yet. And the research is also ongoing to determine whether uh, weekend training only also provides protection to other diseases that regular weekday training provides. The findings of this paper say, and I quote directly here, a weekend warrior pattern of physical activity was associated with similarly lower risks of incident atrial fibrillation, myocardial infarction, heart failure and stroke compared with more evenly distributed physical activity, end quote. The paper also follows up with the meaning of that quote, which is worth quoting directly. And it says, increased activity, even when concentrated within one to two days each week may be effective for improving cardiovascular risk profiles, end quote. So this is great news for those of you that are super busy during the week with young families and for those of you that thought weekend training was a waste of time because your excuse is now blown uh, out of the water. So find some serious music, get those earphones on, ride that bike, lift those weights and as even only training on the weekends can offer major health benefits. And of course, one more thing, make sure you pair exercise with proper sleep. And if you aren't familiar with how important sleep is for exercise, I'll leave a video up here shortly, which is super important to watch as exercise with less sleep can induce faster cognitive decline. Always chat with your, uh, with your doctor about health data you see online. Don't forget to grab a copy of my book, The Anti-Aging Toolkit, second edition out now. Hit that thumbs up button, fist bump the subscribe button, or face the consequences of your actions. Visit me at www.scienceofaging.life and as always, stay young and stay vibrant.